Fizio, author, executive coach, and the founder of Image Reading. So, today, today, what happened today? Oh yeah, what happened to my outfit? What happened to my custom shirt? What happened to my perfect fitted jacket? Well, this is precisely the journey I'm going to take you for the next few weeks talking about the message I'm spreading across the world, appearance. Knowing not to judge the book by the cover because of course we know, we are so open-minded, we don't do it. And yet, we do. You do, I do, we all do it. At some point of time, it's just natural and human because we are the result of what we are from the time we were a kid and just we built upon each little subliminal message after one after another and we just get to basically have a certain standard of what certain thing means. So today we're actually going to address a subject that's actually something that's getting more and more of a problem, a problem because of again society telling you do what you do, be who you are and go out there pushing your own message and saying to the world who you are. So, if you're not yourself, they're telling you you better be yourself because that's the way to live happily. Now, you are yourself. You're gonna do the message I'm gonna be talking about in one minute, and now you're getting judged and condemned for it. So what happened to that? What happened to if I don't do it, it's bad, but if I do it, I get judged. So, today's episode is about tattoos in corporate life. So, basically, is a tattoo what does a tattoo means in the corporate life so let's get for that let's think of it for a moment you're an hr manager you're really about finding the next vp the next okay let's say you have a hedge fund let's find something very serious you know where you really are all about having this thing where you want that guy or that girl that's going to present so well and you know now i'm going to say it's me all right so I'm presenting myself. I have a dragon tattooed from my back to my neck, along my arms, till my hands. Uh-huh. And yet, you saw my resume. You love my resume. MBA, I have, I don't know, three MBAs. Let's say I'm just so smart. A PhD, because I love psychology. All of that to knowing that now you are connecting with me because you want to see me face to face because you love my resume you read my email love the motivation letter now i'm here and now it's suddenly i'm getting judged for it so what does that say that says even though you got encouraged to be yourself certain thing in business can actually be against you and if you see my hands covered with scales because i'm a dragon remember i have tattoo and on my neck, God knows, fire breathing something. Well, now you're concerned because here you are looking for that person who's going to be managing hundreds of millions of dollars in my company, in your company rather. But now, what's gonna happen? You're too afraid for people to judge that person or to feel like this is not someone I can trust because of that very tattoo. So actually that tattoo could be detrimental and yet the person who did it is still very smart. That didn't change her or his brain, but yet it is about remembering that we do judge the book by the cover and now here we are doing it in this very present time, in the, the time, you know, in 2017, we are still here. We are still looking at it as it could be a problem with our clients. So that was the tip number one instead of looking at the thing just as it presents itself in front of you just do me a favor walk backwards look at it from afar just take it as a camera put the wide angle on it and remember that person was actually here and is actually here because you chose it because you chose that that curriculum because you wanted that person to be that person for the job and remember maybe instead of judging the book by the cover Let's go the extra mile and understand that's not the definition of the person, that's just one little piece of them. And that was tip number one. So, let's go for question number two, and do tattoos impact your appearance? Well, of course it does. So remember, let's, let's look at it again in a broader light, and here you are in a corporate world. Of course, you know that there is a grown-up 
definition to that. There is definitely a seriousness and there is a list of things and a code that is expected from you because that's just the way corporate work, all right? You're here, you are the big man, you are the big woman, you are really that person that now is taking his career, her career, like for the long run. And there are certain things that are still very, mm -mm. so I know for you that tattoo represents a time in life, a person you love or you love, perhaps a situation that was actually painful, but that grew you from where you were to where you are now. So tattoo always represents something very symbolic and very strong. So be proud of it. Now you will get judged by it. So how about reminding the person in front of you that actually it is not the definition of you. Here you are. You have worked hard. You have been so amazing with your education. You have proven the world that you actually are worthy of this job. But at the end of it, you also remember that the person in front of you is judging you just because they can see that tattoo around your neck in a visible place where actually their clients are gonna see you as well. So bring this person to understanding that perhaps it's a problem and address the issue. Because if you don't, you don't want that thing behind your head and thinking, oh, you know, I did it because I want to be me, but now I'm me and apparently I'm going to get punished by it. Because you can feel it, obviously, that maybe it is going well, but perhaps the person's eyes keep coming back onto your hands, your neck, around your face, wherever the tattoo is. So perhaps this is your time. You really want that job? Yeah, guess what? That tattoo being an obstacle, that's gonna actually make you be even so much better at that interview so much better at your job when you have it because maybe you're doing that tattoo while you're having that job and now mm, no one really likes it too much well you know what be that person to prove that this is only a little piece of you and there is so much more containing you to make you a great person so yes it affects your appearance and it impacts it but you can be that person and reverse the process making others understanding this is actually more than that and that was tip number two and finally getting to number three and that's professionalism and judgment from your peers so let's talk about it again and we're going to go back a little bit to what i just said but let's carry it through more at a personal level and deeper into you so now you are in that career in that dream job this job you wanted for so long you're in it you're killing it you're doing all the right things and now you decide that again for some personal reason you know you want a tattoo. It's perhaps, you know, the birth of your first child. Perhaps it's your mom who just passed away. It is a situation that you want to remember forever and you want it somewhere on your body, but you're choosing actually a place where everybody could see it. Okay, that's your right. You could do it again, self-empowerment. That's what it is about. And now you're starting hearing, you know, the judgment from the colleagues and, you know, they're throwing those little jokes, which are really filled with, I really don't like what you're doing, but what's going on? Now, maybe you get even called upstairs by the big boss who's telling you, not acceptable. Here you are, the face of the company. When you go to see a client, you are our brand. You are the face of the brand. And this is looking like you're not taking what you're doing seriously. Now, of course, what do you do? You're offended. But please, instead of the holy go recourse and all that thing where it's like, okay, oh my God, suing and it's a defamation, God knows what term you want to use. That's your time again to shine because you're here to actually tell a story, tell your story. You're also on your path, you're a leader already. Even though you're not at the highest of the corporate ladder, you're still really high. So you are leading people. So again, you remember, and I said it many times, touch people with your story touch them with your heart maybe carry them through what happened you did this tattoo that weekend last weekend rather okay tell them why and by explaining sharing it with them already if you have people touching your heart you touch their heart now you're getting something going now you have a ground base to work on and instead of I hate it and you feel like well I can do whatever I want talk about it address it you are in that dream job. You are in that job you don't want to lose. And you want to lose it just because of a tattoo or because something is just not right, maybe it's an earring. Well, that's the point. 
just please be you just be who you are and explain it people don't have to guess either you just came back yesterday with this big thing around your neck on your hands anywhere that's visible so you want to actually bring this thing to others because you're doing that to actually scream your story to the world but yet you get offended and they judge you so instead of being offended explain it share it tell them what's happening in your mind in your heart in your life and you will see the difference instead of a judgment now that's how you turn things around and from negative energy you can bring that into the positive because remember you spend at work more time than you spend at home so why don't you do that in the best way you can and if something like that happens this is your time to prove who you are show them that you are the same great person the same great friend the same buddy to go for after Friday when the week is over for a drink because you can trust that person that person the core of that person is still the same and does not get defined by a simple tattoo and that was tip number three thank you very much once again thank you for your time you know I love being with you I love our little rendezvous every week and that's how you could do like click comment share away please send me your emails info at patricebizio.com you know the rule and that's all it is for today thank you again very much and I will see you on the next episode